Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath, everyone. Jesus changes life and our words. Jesus changes our lives and our words. Stop being the person you used to be in your whole life. That person was bad because he wanted to do wrong things. Have a new mind and heart. Be a new person. That new person has been made like God. He does what is right and holy because he knows the truth. Josh Antonio, age 57, was homeless. He lived on the street of Palma, Spain, for many years. Josh has long gray hair and a dirty beard. So he looks very old. A woman who owned a hair cutting business saw Josh on the streets. The woman, the woman's name was Sa Salva. Salva offered to cut Josh's hair and trim his ragged beard bed for free. Josh agreed to let Salva help him. Josh sat in a chair in Salva's beauty shop. Salva's team of workers dyed and cut Josh's hair. Then they trimmed his beard. Next, Josh got new clothes. Josh sat in front of a mirror. After everything I've done, when he saw himself, his when he saw himself, tears filled his eyes. He asked, Is this really me? I look so different. No one will know me. Later, Josh added, Sel Selva and her crew didn't just change my looks. They changed my life. In Ephesians 4, 17-32, Paul says that Jesus changes every part of our lives. As Christians, we become brand new people, but Jesus does more than change how we look. He gives us a new mind and heart. Ephesians 4, 23, Jesus changes our behavior. He makes us holy. Amen. So this was Josh who was homeless with long hair, rugged, dirty beard, beard. but this lady... Salva saw the need of helping this homeless person, so she took him into her hairdressing salon and cut she and her um, employee, employee cut his hair and not only cut his hair and his bed, but they also buy him new brand clothes and let him get a good shower. And when he looked at himself in the mirror for the first time for many, many years, he, he, he was crying because he said, is this really me? He was wondering if it is him looking so good now. Yes, that's how we are when we change. When we are out in the world and doesn't know God and then we give our heart to him. Yes, we change from that bad person to a brand new person just as trash. All right, so that is showing us. That when we see homeless people out there on the street, we may not have places to put them, but we can offer some assistance to them by cutting their hair, taking them to a beauty salon, cutting their hair, and um, buying clothes for them or buy food, give them to eat, you know, do something good for them, and they will feel real good, like how Josh feel, you know, happy, and say, is this really me? Yeah. He appreciated what they did for him. Okay, so I'm reading from St. Matthew chapter 5, reading from verses 1 through to 16. And seeing the multitude, he went up into a mountain. And when he was sat, his disciples came unto him, and he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for there is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are the poor, blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are they, blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the poor, pure in spirit, for they shall be for they shall see God. 
Blessed are the peacemaker, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for there is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revive you and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Ye are the salt of the earth. But if the salt has lost its savior, wherefore shall it be salted? It is henceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set up on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men lit a candle and put it under a bushel and a candle stick. And it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Here in the reading of God, most holy word, happy Sabbath to you all. So this is telling us that we are the light of the world. When you are a Christian, you must let your light so shine. That means to say, if you are with, in the crowd with 10 people or 20 persons, they can pick you up and say, that's a Christian. That means your hairstyle must be different. Your dress code must be different. You must not dress like all the world and dress exposing your body. Have on this red hair and look, you don't look like a Christian. No one can identify you. You must. Sh we must shine our light wherever we go that they can say, that's a Christian. There goes a Christian. Yeah, we have to identify ourselves. We must not look like how oh, others look, dress like them. No one can identify you. So we must shine our light for Jesus. All right? Peace out. Love you guys. Remember to like, share, comment. Blessing upon blessing.